Lot number 113 is a 2007 Ford F350 XL crew cab dump body truck. This is a three yarder cubic with a 6.0 liter diesel engine. Been running for like 40 minutes, idling nice and smooth. The body is straight. Let me show you what I see. The front bumper looks good. It's got a few scratches only. The motor is a 6.0. Listen. The batteries were dead. It needed a jump start. The body is good. It's got a few scratches, a few things dense, but minor, nothing major. The dump body works. I put it up. I'm gonna bring it down and show you in the video. All right, as you can see, the tires look good. Got surface rust on the wheels. I see he's got a few dings here, ding here. Uh, that's it for the dings. I see some scratches. The back of the cab looks good. Let me show you the roof. Roof looks good. All right, the cylinder looks good on the dump body. The chassis is good. It's got surface rust. It looks good. The rear tires have thread. The tire, the rims have surface rust. But it looks solid. The dump body is in good condition. It's got some rust on it as well, but not, not as bad as others. It's got the tailgate. It's got a full-size hitch. It's got some debris in the back that goes with it. All right, as you can see on the tail, on the bed, it, it looks solid to me. Just a lot of surface rust. This one has that mechanism that you can open and dump from inside. But the, oh, it's got the arrow board. It's got the amber lights on top. The cab is really nice. Look at that. The tires look good. The leaf springs look good. The chassis looks good. All right, let me show you the inside. On the door, I see some paint chips. See that, little paint chips. The decals will be removed professionally. All right, they're not gonna scrape the paint. As you can see, here's another thing. The front cap looks good, just faded. I'm gonna rev it up for you so you can hear it. Let me show you underneath the bed. There's no holes through it. All right, the bench seat is torn on the driver's side and on the passenger side. So that will need to be reupholstered. The steering wheel is sticky. The dash looks good. AC is blowing cold. This one has cruise control, manual windows. The door panels look good, just slightly faded. The floor mat looks good. The headline is okay, just dirty, but it looks good. It's not hanging. The back seat, there's some stuff in here that goes with it. I don't know what it is, but the back seat appears to be okay. There's something on top of it. I can't see underneath it, but it looks like it's okay. Here's the controller to bring the bed down. I'm gonna bring it down now. There it goes, nice and easy. Going down. All right, it's a little slow, but we know it works. All right, so let me keep going. I don't have time. Well, maybe. Might as well. Let it come down. All right. The bed is all the way down. All right. So as you can see, it's got the arrow boards. It's got the net, the mesh, the tarp. It's manual. The tarp seems to be okay. And uh, that's it. Let me Let me wrap it up for you. Rev it up and the ABS light comes on. I don't know what that is. Let me close the door. Let's see, when it revs down, the ABS goes off. Oh, yeah. Even 
the odometer when you rev it up it moves oh the batteries are le the batteries are dead it ran it started with the jump box the batteries are still dead so you need batteries in this vehicle if I try to lift up that dump bed right now it'll turn off because the batteries are dead so you need new batteries so that could be the reason why that ABS light is coming on and the odometer gauge is moving motor sounds good all righty so that's pretty much it um, it's a work truck good luck